because uh, see uh, the speaker tells like everybody will have a problem but only some people will win against the problem and some people will lose and the problem will win okay so what is the difference between people who win against the problem and the people who lose okay so he has mentioned about some 12 to 16 principles uh, which i will be uh, telling about like when you have a problem like uh, how do you handle it and what are the things you take into consideration uh, to uh, overcome the problem so i thought okay uh, let me uh, he shared one story uh, you know like robert schuller he is a founder of uh, crystal uh, cathedral and um, he uh, he's that crystal cathedral is worth millions of uh, dollars which he established but uh, when he started it was not like that uh, it was very small like he had a small idea he had a but the dream was very powerful uh, but the problem was when he started uh, with a small church uh, it had uh, it can occupy only some thousand five hundred thousand uh, people. So he wanted to impact more people. So he thought of uh, increasing the size of the church. But the problem was, you know, some technical difficulties like people who come they want to park their cars, uh, all these small small problems, right? Uh, that he he had that issue. So uh, he thought, okay, he spent another uh, few million dollars. It took some more uh, years of time and uh, he uh, increased the size of the church so like when he, he didn't have anything also he had a problem but when he uh, started the church also he had a different problem okay it may not be the same problem so when he wanted to accommodate some 3000 or 4000 plus people right uh, he had a different problem altogether so at every stage right robert schuller even though he was founder of worth millions of dollars of uh, church there were some problems so like uh, he gives some uh, principles uh, which uh, I am going to share. So first one is like every human being has a problem. We need to understand that we are not unique or we some some people think like okay he is happy and uh, only I am the person who is having a problem. It's not like that. And every problem has a limited lifespan. We need to understand that it's tentative. Problem is not permanent. Okay. Third one is like uh, every problem holds positive possibilities. We think about, uh, we usually tend to think about negative possibilities, but it also has positive possibilities. Okay, and uh, we need to uh, let the problem change. If we don't change, the problem will be the same. So we need to raise above the problem so that we can tackle the problem. And the next one is, uh, uh, okay, you need to choose what the problem can create. Uh, what is the impact that it can create on you? And the uh, last one is the uh, negative and positive reaction. There's a negative and positive reaction to every problem. Uh, some people tend to see the negative reaction, uh, negative side, and some people uh, tend to see the positive side. Okay, so. Uh